Hi, welcome back. In this lesson, we'll be talking about RMF and CAP careers. These are careers you can pursue if you have the CAP certification or just knowledge in the RMF. Welcome to the lesson on RMF and CAP careers. The RMF is an important skill to have in implementing risk management at the system level within both government and private sector organizations. The DOD has defined that the CAP certification itself meets the DOD requirements for 8570 or DOD 8140 for information assurance manager careers at level one and also level two. Understanding the RMF is important to achieving the CAP certification. While it's possible to get a job without the CAP certification and only RMF knowledge, obtaining the CAP certification will increase your odds of getting jobs as it's required by DOD 8570 and DOD 8140 for specific jobs within the Information Assurance Manager Level 1 and Information Assurance Manager Level 2 career fields. So let's take a look at a chart from DOD 8570 that spells out different certification requirements for different jobs. So we see if we look at this chart, these are the approved baseline certifications according to DOD 8570. The subset of careers we're going to look at are those in the IAM level one and level two career fields. You'll see at these two levels, the CAP is one of the possible required certifications to obtain a job at these levels. So what are some of the jobs that we're looking at at IAM level one and two? These include IA certification and accreditation, or assessment and authorization, depending on where you're at, cybersecurity analyst, information assurance manager, cybersecurity engineer, information security specialist, information system security officer, often referred to as ISO, information system security manager, often referred to as ISM. At level one, 8570 has defined these job skills and the people achieving this type of a career as having functions such as apply information assurance policies and procedures, manage secure computing environments, and recognize and report possible security violations. As you've seen earlier, the Certified Authorization Professional, or CAP exam, is one of the possible exams you can have to achieve a job as an IAM level one. Another certification is the CompTIA Security Plus with continuing education. 8570 explains the overview of the requirements for a job at IAM level one. This experience level is usually an entry level management position with zero to five or more years of management experience. They operate in the computing environment of information assurance management. They apply knowledge of information assurance policy, procedures, and structure to develop, implement, and maintain a secure computing environment. For information assurance issues, the IAM level one career professional will typically report to an IAM level two professional in a networking environment normally. They may report to other management for other computing environment operational requirements. They manage IA or information assurance operations for a computing environment system or number of systems, and they must achieve their IA baseline certifications within six months of an assignment to an IAM level one position. There are a number of functions that should be mastered as an IAM level one career professional. These are defined here. Use federal and organizational specific published documents to manage the operations of their computing environment systems. Provide system related input on information assurance security requirements 
to be included in statements of works and other appropriate procurement documents, support and administer data retention and recovery within the CE, participate in the development or modification of the computer environment, information assurance, security program, plans, and requirements, validate users design for IT level one or two sensitive positions, develop procedures to ensure system users are aware of their IA responsibilities before granting access to DOD information systems, recognize a possible security violation and take appropriate action to report the incident as required, supervise or manage proactive or corrective measures when an IA incident or vulnerability is discovered, ensure that system security configuration guidelines are followed, ensure that IA requirements are integrated into the continuity of operations plan or the COOP plan for that system or DOD component, ensure that IA security requirements are appropriately identified in computer environment operation procedures, monitor system performance and review for compliance with IA security and privacy requirements within the computer environment, Ensure that IA inspections, tests, and reviews are coordinated for the CE. Participate in an IS risk assessment during the certification and accreditation process. Collect and maintain data needed to meet system IA reporting requirements. Obtain and maintain IA baseline certification as appropriate to the position. At the IAM level two, the requirements increase commensurate with the level of responsibility that is added to an IAM level two career professional. Level two has functions such as develop and implement IA policies, assist in the gathering of evidence around computer crimes, and coordinate IA inspections and reviews. Certifications for a level two IAM career professional include the CAP, the CompTIA CASP CE, the CISM, the CISSP or associate, the GSLC or the CCNA security. Of course, we'll focus on the CAP requirement. The requirements from 857 for the IAM level two, usually the career professional will have at least five years of management experience. The environment they work in is the network environment, information assurance management, they will apply knowledge of IA policy, procedures, and workforce structure to develop, implement, and maintain a secure network environment. For IA issues, the IAM Level 2 Career Professional typically reports to an IAM Level 3 Enclave Manager or a DAA or AO. They may report to other senior management for network operational requirements. The IAM Level 2 Career Professional relies on experience and judgment to plan and accomplish goals. They manage IA operations for a network environment or multiple network environments. They must achieve their baseline certification within six months of assignment to position. Management functions at the Level 2 include all of the requirements for the Level 1 IAM Career Professional, but also include Develop, implement, and enforce policies and procedures reflecting the legislative intent of applicable laws and regulations for the networking environment. Prepare, distribute, and maintain plans, instructions, guidance, and standard operating procedures concerning the security of network systems operations. Develop network environment security requirements specific to an IT acquisition for inclusion in procurement documents. Recommend resource allocation required to securely operate and maintain an organization's NEIA requirements. Participate in an IS risk assessment during the CNA or ANA process. Develop security requirements for hardware, software, and service acquisitions specific to NEIA programs. Ensure that IA and IA enabled software, hardware, and firmware comply with appropriate NE security configuration guidelines 
and procedures, assist in the gathering and preservation of evidence used in the prosecution of computer crimes, ensure that the NE information security recovery processes are monitored and that the IA features and procedures are properly restored, review IA security plans for the NE, ensure that all IAM review items are tracked and reported, identify alternate functional IA security strategies to address organizational NE security concerns, ensure that IA inspections, tests, and reviews are coordinated for the NE, review the selected security safeguards to determine that security concerns identified in the appropriate plan have been fully addressed, evaluate the presence and adequacy of security measures proposed or provided in response to requirements contained in acquisition documents, monitor contract performance, and periodically review deliverables for conformance with contract requirements related to NEIA security and privacy. Provide leadership and direction to NE personnel by ensuring that IA security awareness, basics, literacy, and training are provided to operations personnel commiserate with their responsibilities. Develop and implement programs to ensure that systems, networks, and data users are aware of, understand, and follow NE and IA policies and procedures. Advise the DAA or AO of any changes affecting the NEIA posture. Conduct an NE physical security assessment and correct physical security weaknesses. Help prepare IA certification and accreditation documentation. Ensure that compliance monitoring occurs and review results of such monitoring across the NE. Obtain and maintain IA baseline certification as appropriate to that position. So you may be asking yourself, why are we looking at all of these DOD requirements when I'm not looking at getting a job within the Department of Defense? Maybe I'm looking for a job in the intelligence community. Or maybe I'm looking at a job in another part of the government that's not the DOD. Or maybe I'm looking for a job in the private sector. It's important to know that if we look at these DOD requirements or these functions required at IAM Level 1 and Level 2 within the DOD, it gives us a good framework of jobs at that same level outside of the DOD. So it gives us a good framework for the skill sets we should possess if we're looking to get a job in those functions. Obviously, each specific job is going to have specific requirements to be selected for that position. But this gives you a general framework to determine what do I need to know in relation to this level of job to be able to successfully compete in the job market. And it's also worth noting that many organizations have implemented requirements similar to 8570 within their organization. And many times they've picked it up in mass and just put it in place for their job requirements. So a lot of places outside the DOD will use 8570 requirements for their positions. So it's important to know what, what the DOD has put as a structure around these IAM level one and level two functions. And obviously if you're going for a job within the Department of Defense, these are the requirements you have to have to be successful in these positions. So if you look at this lesson, uh, we covered the basics of DOD 8570 what is required at level one, including an overview of the requirements and the functions. We looked at IAM level two and the overview and the functions in those level jobs as well. I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.